This video is for round five of Athena. To begin, you're going to chain one and then work a single crochet into the very first stitch. Now we are going to work the first Pico strip loop. To begin, you will chain 13 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. <clears throat> and then you are going to single crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. So you'll count one, two, three, four, work a single crochet into that stitch. However you prefer, you can work it in the back loop like I'm doing, or you can actually flip it over, work into the back of the chain stitch. It's up to you how you um, would prefer it to look. Work a pico, that's chain three, and then you will slip stitch into the front loop of that last single crochet you made. And that is a chain three pico. Single crochet into the next chain stitch. Make sure you uh, work into these chain stitches the same way all the way down. Work another uh, chain three pico, one, two, three. Slip stitch into the front, the front loop of the last single crochet that you made. We've done that two times, we're gonna do it four times. So single crochet into the, the next chain stitch. Work a chain three pico. Single crochet into the next chain stitch. Make sure your chain stays straight as you are doing this. I have three, I need to do it one more time. One, two, three, slip stitch. And then work a single crochet into the next chain stitch. This is the first half of the strip. Now we are going to do the same thing across. So to begin, you're gonna work a single crochet into the next stitch. So you have two single crochets in a row right there in the middle of the strip. Work a chain three pico. Single crochet into the next chain stitch. Work a chain three pico. Single crochet into the next chain stitch. Chain three pico. Work a single crochet into the next stitch. Make sure it's straight. And then work your last chain three pico. And your last single crochet. This is into the 13th chain stitch. So you've worked into every chain stitch except for the first three. All right, you have completed your first pico strip. Now you're going to feed it. So what I'm going to do, um, is I'm gonna work the strip around the marked stitch of round two. And the stitch that we marked was the first double crochet. And I can tell mine because it always looks a little different, the first one does. That's why I didn't mark it. So 
you're going to work it in a front post manner. That means you're going to go before the stitch, insert it behind, and then you're going to pull the end out right after, making sure it stays straight. And it should look like that. To finish the strip, you're going to slip stitch into that chain three space at the very top. Those are the first three chain stitches. You skipped them and it created a chain three space. So insert your hook as best that you can. Grab your loop, pull it all the way through like that. And you've finished your first Pico strip loop. To finish the repeat, you are going to single crochet in each of the next five stitches of round four. So look behind. We already worked into the first one. So you're going to work into each of the next five. One, two, three, four, And now you're ready to begin the next pico strip and you will work that around the next stitch of round two.